Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another MAMG Let's Play of White Sky. When we left off, we went to school with Toby, and now we're probably going to go disappoint our father. I don't know how well this is going to go, but I'm... the house is silent. Dad? Are you okay? You can hear Dad sleeping. Oh, that's good. Right? Sh should we go to sleep? Yeah, let's go to sleep. Um, one of you guys asked what would be the difference if I did not get dressed, so I'm not going to do it, but I don't... Is she already dressed? I don't know if she is or not. Maybe it'll let me... Uh-oh. Ah. Good morning, dear. You should get to school, shouldn't you? Sure, and you should talk in complete sentences. Get to school. Okay. Angry man, don't get any ideas, Blanca. I'm going to watch that house until I know you're at school. Though I doubt that will be much of a problem soon. Have a productive day, dear. Okay. I'm going to try and go anyways just to see what happens. Nope, never mind. I couldn't go. Ah, could I not go? Or did I just walk too far? Dad's surely watching you from here. Maybe on the way back, he might not be looking then. I don't want to go to school. But I didn't choose to get dressed, but it looks like she's already wearing clothes. Take a look. Yes. Students and civilians, it's important to remember that there's no role model worse than yourself. You should never be pleased with your own self. If you remember that everyone is better than you, you can only improve yourself. Your current self is unadept. Absorb what you witness around you and nothing else. If you follow this mentality, you can achieve anything we promise. Also, if you don't, we'll have to remove you from society. Have a nice day, Town Hall. What the crap? Okay, but yeah, I didn't choose to get dressed, but I don't know if she is or not. Because she's wearing clothes like the glasses already, so I don't know. Uh oh, hello, Blanca. Shouldn't you be at class? Shouldn't you? Can I go in your house? No? What are you looking at? Why are you making so curious about what you're doing? Uh, this freaking... It almost feels like it's watching. Because it is. I'm watching you watching me. Okay, cool. Um, she says, hmm. Okay. Brush your teeth. What was that sound? Did you guys hear that? What was that? Okay. Yes, I would love to see my progress. Town Hall? I uh, still can't get in. Still can't get into Town Hall, which sucks. I want to go in there and see what they're hiding. School. Also, this looks crazy. Like, the edge of the world. Like, what's going on with that? Okay. Class happened. That's the end of today's lesson. You can go to lunch now. Oh, Blanca. Could I speak with you alone? I, I guess. I think we should talk about your focus lately. You haven't been paying attention in class like you used to. You haven't even done your homework in days. You haven't been participating. I'm worried, Blanca. If this keeps up, you'll drag down the school's score. You will adulterate our reputation. You can understand why I'm worried, correct? Yeah, because all you care about is your reputation. And I just wanted to talk to you about the cause of this behavior. Tell me, is there something or someone that might be distracting you that might be disturbing your mind? Because if it is harming your well-being, we'll have to remove it. Um, I want to say it's my dad. <laughs> like, yeah, my dad's been a total jerk. No, I'm good. I'm good. I see. There's nothing getting in the way. In other words, you're just lazy. It's not too late, Blanca. This happens to many students. The lack of work ethic, I mean. It's only a phase. It's called senioritis. Remember that you can still re, uh, reanimate your work ethic. You can still reanimate you. I'm just going to have to trust you with this. And if you can't change yourself, well, that would be your own fault. Wow, you're such an amazing teacher. I feel completely reinvigorated. Thank you. I'm going to try so hard on my studies now. That's all. You can go. Maybe I don't want to go. Are you going to yell at me too, like my dad did? You can go to lunch, Blanca. I know. I know I can. But I don't have to. Okay, fine. I'll go to lunch. Just because I want to see Toby and see what's going on with him. Hopefully he's okay. 
Hello, everybody. Having a wonderful lunch? Hello. Eh? Oh, hey, Blanca. What took you so long? Did the teacher yell at you? Come on, eat with us. Okay. Sure, I'll save. Okay, let's go. I don't know what's going to happen. I feel like like we're on the crux of something big happening. You know? I just feel it. Is the house going to be gone? I have a feeling the house is going to be gone. Because they said we won't have to worry about it much longer. Toby, are you still there, buddy? In your colorful house? Oh, what did they do? No, wait, that's not where I am. Was the walk this long before? I'm like, wait, did they change the house back? Oh, it's gone. It's gone. How did they do that? How did they make the house disappear? Now I can't see Toby and I promised him I would. Well, well, look who's home on time. I wonder how that could be. Dear, I'm not going to say you were visiting the colored house and disobeying my orders. I'm just not going to say it. I'm just going to be satisfied with the fact that it cannot distract you anymore. You don't have to worry now. If you want to know, the house was moved while you were at school. It's not that easy to move an entire house. You don't just like roll it down the street. What you do with it? Now your concentration and grades will go back to where they were before. Isn't that wonderful? Why don't you go upstairs and finish your homework? Nah, I'm good. See you later. I want, I want to leave. Oh, I want to leave so bad. I'm such a rebellious kid, aren't I? Like, no, I don't want to do homework. Nobody take my example of this playthrough, please. I'm, I'm a good person. Uh, sure, we'll do our homework, I guess. There. It's done, okay? Should I go to bed or should I try to go back out? I can't go back out. Okay. Go to sleep early. I guess. I mean, there's nothing else I can do. Now what? Okay, I'm still not choosing to change my clothes. Dad's on the phone. Listen, heck yeah, I'll listen in. Are you kidding me? Yes, that's fine. I'm glad it's finally done. Behind Town Hall is a good location. It's out of sight now. Sorry? No, that's not why I wanted it moved. I wanted it moved because it was an eyesore. It was disturbing the town's perfection. Not because my daughter was misbehaving. I don't know who in that hall decided to put it there in the first place, right next to our house. Out of room? I don't really care. I'm glad you came to your senses and knocked down a pre-existing one. Fine, that's alright, as long as it's moved now. I'm looking out for the community too, you know. How long have you been? How much did you hear? Go to school. Are you going to get mad at me again? I don't think I want to go to school. Are you going to follow me? Are you going to follow me, Papa? Because <laughs> I'm going to go behind, behind Town Hall. Behind Town Hall. Yep, those are words. Anyways, does this say anything else? Nothing new. Okay. I guess I should have been checking the bulletin board. So, I have a feeling we'll be able to get into Town Hall eventually because it says, like, ID required, you know? But I don't know how we get an ID or what we can do. Good thing we eavesdropped on them, though, because if we didn't, then I have no idea how we would have found that. Okay, so town hall. Aha! Whoa! I didn't know there were this many houses over here. So is it Toby? There's a very small lock on the door. Crack it open. Yeah. Cracked open the lock. Enter. Yeah. Toby! It's you. It's you, buddy. It's Toby. He's in a trance. So it's still him. How'd they move him? I'm so confused. All right. Yeah, let's touch it. Let's see what's going on in Toby's world. Not very good, I'd say. Let's read his diary here. Yeah. 9-3. She didn't come back today. I must have done something wrong. Maybe she'll come back tomorrow. But what if she doesn't? What if she never comes back? I don't want to be alone again. My eye hurts. Oh, they made her put the contacts in. Toby? Oh no, Toby! 
Yeah. You're too indulgent. That's bad parenting skills. I understand, but... He's out of control. Oh, that's not Toby. My son can't focus in class because of him. How could you just let him look like that? The way he talks. It's wrong. I understand what you're saying. I don't think you do. You say that every time. This must be the teacher. What do I have to do to get through to you? Do I have to call the... No. No, please. You don't have to do that. Look, I'm working on him. He was just born like this, and... I didn't ask for him to be like this. I'll change him. I will. You'd better. You don't want to be seen as... Well, you know. No, of course not. I'm a normal, hard-working person. It's not my fault. Hmm. You'd better work on that fast. I will. Okay. Oh, it's the same thing. Never mind. Okay, let's get out of here. I don't want you to call anybody. Toby, where are you at, buddy? Toby. Are you over here? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, they punched him. Dang it. His eye doesn't hurt because he was wearing contacts. It hurt because he got beat up. She hates me. She hates me. Oh, God. They both hate me. Everyone hates me. Hey, Toby, no, no. Huh? Mm, no way. Blanca? I thought you left me. Thank you. Thank you for not leaving. S sorry. I probably look like a mess. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just so happy right now. <laughs> I think I'm okay now. Can you, um... Do you want to come to school with me today? Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. For real? Yay. I can handle it if you're with me. Let's go. All right. Let's go to school, buddy. I mean, like, on one hand, I guess you could say no, but that seems really mean. Say I'm not going to go to school with you because he needs us and we need him. I'm not going to lie. I need the little guy. He's, he's awesome. All right. School is what? This way? Right? School's the other way. Sorry. My school's that way. Your school's this way. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. Like, we're going opposites. Everything's been opposites. Oh, uh, um, hey, um, Blanca, I've got an idea. But, um, let's go back over there. So, my idea was we should skip school. Come on, it'll be fun. I mean... You're a guest, and that kind of uh, what kind of host would I be if I just did boring stuff every time you visited? Let's do something super fun. Hmm. What's the funnest thing you can think of? Hmm. Oh, I know. A castle. There's one right this way. Come on. T Toby, buddy. I don't know if we should be skipping school. Your, your mom's already in a lot of trouble. That's not a castle. We've gone here. This is a radio tower. Is it? Toby? Oh, yeah, you gotta wiggle it. That's right. Um, Toby? Where'd you go, buddy? Dude, you're way too quick. <laughs> Employees only. Okay, fine. This isn't a castle at all. Okay, whatever he wants to do. I mean, hey. I'm just visiting this world. I guess I'll go ahead and save while I'm here. I don't know what he wants to do or what we're even doing here. I have no idea, but I'm, I'm like really into this game. I don't know if you guys can tell that or not, but like I really enjoy it. I hope it's got like a good ending. Come on, this way. We're almost there. Okay, buddy. Yeah, we, we've been here before, buddy. <laughs> Yay, we're here. You're probably confused, right? Yeah, very much so. But believe it or not, there's a castle here. I go there all the time. You see, Blanca, when you imagine something really, really hard with all your heart, it might as well be real. Because if you can see it, that's all that matters. Come on, I'll show you. Close your eyes, okay? 
It's a huge, beautiful place. Everyone's nice there. There's a big flag flying in the sky and delicious meals. And the whole thing's blue. It's perfect there. It's perfect. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Whoa! Ta-da! <laughs> Oh, I put a heart in the middle! Do you like it? See? It all might as well be real. In fact, it is real. Here, have this! You gotta dress up for the occasion! A blue ribbon. Ooh! Let's go explore! I want to show you around! Oh, I look adorable! Giant flag blows in the wind. Okay. So what, should we go left and right? No, we need to go down. Okay. Uh, it'd be so weird if she has the ribbon when we go back to the regular world. Oh, hi. Oh, Toby, is that you? What a pleasant surprise. Hi, Lena. It's good to see you again. Oh, and who might this be? I don't recall ever seeing another person here before. This is Blanca. She's my friend. Well, what a delight. Welcome to the castle, Blanca. But Toby, shouldn't you be in school right now? Nope. Alrighty then. He came just in time, actually. We're having a party. Oh, wow. That's per terrific. I was just going to show Blanca around so she can meet everybody. How wonderful. You're so considerate. Aw, thank you. Well, if you need me, I'll be playing outside with the others. It's hide and seek. You should join us. I know you love that game. Sure. Okay. We'll be sure to do that later. See you around, kiddo. Okay. Come on, let's go! This music's really nice, too. I like everything about this game. I know I just said that not too long ago, but... I really hope they push the creativity side of it. Like, you need to be creative. Hey, man! Nice hair today! Thanks, Robert! Yeah! <laughs> Check out my moves, man! Check them out! I love this song! Get your groove on, baby! You are freaking out a little bit. I love to dance! I'm having a good time! Oh, you're dancing. Whee! Hey, Toby! Dance with me! Come on! I'd love to, but I gotta show my friend around first. Nah, well, okay. Maybe later. Wahoo! What a party! Hey, Toby! Haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Max. It hasn't been that long. Oh, well, you know. Well, enjoy the party. Thanks. We will. Ugh, I can't keep up with the waltz. Wait. Is this even a waltz? Step two, three. Step two, three. I don't know if that's a waltz or not. Hi, Maria. How's it going? Oh, you know, Toby. Things have been great here as usual. Not the same without you, though. You should come visit more. <laughs> if only I could. I would love to. Everyone would be so excited to see you. Who's your friend, hmm? This is Blanca, my new friend. Well, hello, hello. I hope you two enjoy the party. Thanks. Woohoo! Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey, Toby. Hey, new girl. Dance with me. Maybe later, Bella. <laughs> Bella. Okay, matey. Okay, so they can see Blanca. I don't even know if they're, like, real creatures or not, but, you know. What a beautiful day! Toby, I love your hair. I love your hair. Oh, he's so cute. I say, quite the party. Glad you're having fun. Heavens, what fine weather. Toby, your hair is so nice. <laughs> thanks. Toby, Toby, we're having a drawing contest. Join us, join us. You're the best drawer ever. Oh, that's not true. I could never beat you guys. Psh, you're too modest. Join us when you got time, okay? Okay. I'm drawing a spaceship. Pshoo! <laughs> hmm, I'm hungry. I want candy pancakes. But it's always so crowded downstairs. You know, Toby, could you imagine up some more chairs at Julius's restaurant? Nay, I can't just imagine up anything. There's got to be some kind of order to things. Otherwise, it'd be boring. Eh, yeah, I guess. I suppose I'll have to just wait. Is it going to be really busy down here? Ooh. Howdy, name's Cat. I recognize Toby, but you are... This is Blanca, my friend. <laughs> nice, welcome. How did you guys meet? Well, she just appeared one day. It seems like I'm the only one who can see her. Everyone else thinks she's fake. Interesting. You know, maybe that's how Blanca can see all of us the same way you can. What do you mean? 
Well, since she's a part of you, she should be able to observe the products of your imagination, the worlds you create. She's a part of you, and you're a part of her. Whoa. So, Blanca's connected to my mind? Sort of? It's a possibility. <laughs> cool. La la la, la 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 la. Hi, newcomer. I'm Steven, and I like to sing. Okay, buddy. I wish I could visit the queen. The queen is radical. She's always sleeping, though. I want her to play with us. Little, little. Uh, okay. How's it going, yo? I'm good. How are you? Pretty swell. Why are we yelling? Who knows? Okay. Queen Bunny's room is closed off right now. Oh, say bird. I may go one more section. I'm an introvert, so I like eating by myself. But that doesn't mean I can't enjoy my dinner. <laughs> That's me. I to I like eating. Like, when I go and, like, I have the choice, I love eating by myself. It's just nice to be by yourself a little bit from time to time. Obviously, it's nice to have company, too, but... Well, hello there, Toby. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, a new face. Who might this be? This is Blanca. Blanca, this is the restaurant owner, Julius. It's a pleasure to meet you, hon. Did you guys want to eat? The special today is candy pancakes. Unfortunately, we're fresh out of seats. If you wait like an hour, a table will probably be available though. We don't have that kind of time. Sorry, Julius, maybe next time. No problem at all. See you around, guys. The food here is free and it's open 24 seven. It's just crowded today because it's a party. Got it. Yay, free food. <laughs> Dan, would you pass me, uh, would you tell Junior to get off the table? Oh, he is on the table. We're on the table, too. You go, Junior. You go. <laughs> chomp, chomp. Oh, we went down the stairs. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, hi, Toby. Hi, Blanca. Lena. Did you come to play? We just started a new round. Hide and seek? Yes, sirree. Well, I basically showed Blanca the whole place, so sure. Might as well. Uh, I was gonna look in the doors, but I guess we'll play first. Hey, okay. Blanca's never played before. Never? Wow. We'll show you the ropes. The rules are simple. We hide in the blue squares over there, and you two inspect around to find us. I'll give you clues as well. And guess what? If you win, I'll give you a prize. Okay. Ready? Yes, indeed. On your marks, get set. Hide, everyone. Here's the first round's clue. Four of us are hiding. We're all in the corners of the same square. Got it? Sure. Wrong, sorry, okay. Nope. I was found, no fair. <laughs> You're good at this. What? How'd you find me? Ah, you found me, good job. Congrats, you found everyone. You win. That was fun, let's move on to round two. Here's the second round's clue. Three of us are hiding. First of us is hiding on the end of an L shape. Got it? Sure. Good job, you found me. I'll give you a hint. My friend's hiding on the other side of the L shape. You heard nothing. Like this side? Well, you found me. I thought I had the best spot ever. My friend didn't give me away, did she? Anyway, here's a hint. There's someone hiding in the oddly shaped block right in the center. <laughs> oddly shaped, this? Wow, you're good at this game. Nobody's cheating, are they? Well, congrats, you found everyone again. You win round two. Now it's time for round three. Get ready, everyone. Here's the third round's clue. One of us is hiding, it's me. I'm in a 90 degree angle, got it? There's a lot of 90 degree angles. Um. There's a lot of 90 degree angles here. I'm confused. I mean, are you talking the corners give me 90 degree angles too? Uh, hmm. I don't know where you are, buddy. I got nothing. They're amazing at hiding. <laughs> Where'd you go, you little sneaky? Oh, 
Here I am. You know what that means? You win. I thought I checked there. You're now the hide and seek champ. Congrats to you. Time to give you your prize. Okay. Here's your prize. A yellow card. I don't really know what it is, but it looks pretty useful, right? Hey, that was fun. You up for a different game? Oh, what game? How about tag? That sounds fun. <laughs> I'll explain how to play. All nine of us will run around and you try to tag us all out. Easy enough, right? Well, we're pretty quick, so good luck. Why am I playing all these games? Oh, okay. Uh. Oh god, you are really quick. You guys are spazzing out. There we go, thank you, thank you. It's like I'm eating them all. Oh, come on, there's only a couple of them left. Yep, oh, come on. Gotcha, last one. Oh, come here, you little... <laughs> come here, let me get you. Gotcha. Oh, here's your prize as promised. A green card. Thanks for playing with us. It was fun. Let's go back up to the top, okay? So, we have a yellow a yellow and a green card? Toby, where are you going, buddy? What's up? I wish... I wish I could stay here forever. I used to come here all the time when I was younger. When I was all by myself. Now, between school, mom, those kids. Nowadays, if I come here for even just a little while, things just get that much worse later on in the real world. It sure has been a while though. Wow. But now, I'm even more scared of going back home. I don't know what's waiting for me when I get back home. I don't think I could come back here for a long time. I really like having you here. If I can't have this place, at least I have you, right? Right? Are you coming back? Uh-oh. You're leaving again. I'm gonna miss you. I'm really, really gonna miss you. Please come back soon, okay? Great. Oh, and the bird's gone. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode right here. Um, not quite sure how long this game is. It's actually longer than I initially thought it was going to be, but it's very interesting and I don't want to rush it. We've been going for quite some time already, so I'll go ahead and end this episode right now so that we have something to look forward to in the future as well. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next MAMJ. Let's play. That's a cool picture. I love the feel. I love feeling that breeze all the way from up here. I mean, sometimes it's a bit empty, but I'm glad I can share it with you. What do you think of the view? <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad I met you, Blanca. Even if you don't know why you're here. Oh, right. We were supposed to be looking for how you get home. I'm sorry, Blanca. I had a feeling we wouldn't find anything around here, but I wanted you to see the view. The truth is, I'm not sure how to get you home at all. Maybe you're not even... No, you're real. I know it. I don't care if mom can't see.